had a talk with the mayor. He said, don't leave the city. I said, well, we need space, but there's no land available in Pickering. He said, leave it with me and I will rattle a few chains, unquote. What he did not know, it was God using him to provide six acres of prime land. Only God could do this. Well, this is a this is a land that we are contemplating. God's willing for us to move our new place of worship and, and family life center. We're looking to make it a complete worship and life center. We're hoping that uh, the sanctuary seating 1500 would only be a tent to host uh, our prayer meetings. Building is paid for. Everyone is comfortable with the, with the space, so to speak. Why do we move and disrupt this sweet family setting? The Great Commission calls us to reach the world. And if we can acquire more property, more space, train more personnel, it means we're going to influence more people, which means we're di diminishing and defeating the powers of hell and maximizing the potentials for which Jesus Christ died. And so this is not the end of what we're trying to build. It's a beginning of what we believe God has in store for us. The, the, the burning desire that, that I felt as we were moving toward the reality that we're now about to raise significant income, that was to me extremely um, exciting. We had a true connection, and not just from the physicalness of that which we're about to promote, but from a spiritual level as well. They really bought into the gift, the promise, the vision, everything that we have been proposing over the last couple of weeks for the church and for the building and the development of God. I see people of all races, of all cultures, coming into the church based on the fact that this will be like a refuge for the city of Pickering. We have the doctrine, apostolic one God doctrine. People need to feel what we feel. People need to feel the presence of God. I don't mind the church growing to the point where I don't know everyone's name because that's not the most important thing. The most important thing is that everyone knows the name of Jesus Christ. We had the TWB banquet uh, with the leadership team and uh, I was absolutely blown away when I realized that they, we had passed almost two million dollars in, in commitment. That was just frightening. The Congregation of Apostolic Pentecostal Church have made a 36 months commitment to sacrificially and faithfully contribute 3.6 million dollars. Uh, the reason why I decided to sign up for the vision is I believe the vision is about souls. I do believe that we need to leave a legacy for the generation coming after so they will have a place to worship. That I have a younger daughter here that attends APC with me and the reason why I'm doing it to have her to continue growing up in the faith, growing up in the apostolic, uh, in the apostolic uh, heritage and that she has a home to go to. This new ad additional space is essential and needed to fulfill uh, the, the, the work of the community and the vision of APC to provide more service to community. And when our communities are strong, we are all stronger. We will break this ground today because it is in our heart to build a house for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. I don't think there's going to be anything more rewarding than to stand at the front of this building and see what the finished product is. You know, see what we're standing on? Holy ground. Hey. <laughs> The 
What do you guys think of this place? It's black. It's, it's it. black. It's beautiful. Yes. 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 Yes.